In the late Iron Age, wetlands dominated the Brew Valley. These teemed with birds, fish and mammals, including pelicans and beaver. The wetlands were a mixture of shallow open water, wet alder and willow woodland, reed swamp and sedge fen. Open water channels led through the swamp. Around 200 BC, people started living in this swamp, about halfway between modern-day Glastonbury and Godney. Settlement could only be reached by dugout canoe. The village was made at a patch of wet woodland. The trees were felled and wooden foundations were made. Clay was brought in to raise up the floor levels. Fish, ducks, otters and beaver were hunted in the wetlands, but most food was grain and meat from the dryland. Some pigs and cattle may have been kept in the village. One side was a causeway where canoes could land easily. It had been remodelled at least once. At its peak, around 20 roundhouses occupied the site. They were lightweight structures, rebuilt every eight or nine years. A palisade of stakes formed the outside of the settlement. The causeway was made of wood and stone. The swamps gave protection as well as food to the village. Severed heads with sword cuts were found at the edge of the village. Evidence the relations with neighbouring groups were not always peaceful. The villagers made textiles, worked wood, antler and bone, and were skilled metal workers. Their produce was traded along the river system. These probably included furs from beaver and otter, and perhaps feathers from sea eagles. The settlement grew and flourished, but probably only lasted for about a hundred years before it was abandoned. Covered by waterlogged peat for 2,000 years, it became the best-preserved Iron Age village ever discovered in Britain. <laughs>